It's a tough time to be a young person in the world right now. I think it's a tough time, and here's why. I was writing on a TV show last year, and at the end of the show, when it was canceled, I checked my bank balance on my phone. And on my phone, I saw that I had $5,421, not to brag. <laughs> and this is how little I know about being an adult. I saw the bank balance on the screen, and I thought to myself, with no irony, I should buy a house. <laughs> Not a big house, one of those small $5,000 houses. <laughs> How is any millennial ever gonna own a home? How is any young person ever gonna own a home? It seems impossible and it's made me hate old people. I see a few of you in here tonight, I hate you. <laughs> Because every old person in a city like London or LA or New York is the same. They're like, my house is worth two million pounds, but when I bought it in 1981, I paid 11 raspberries for it. <laughs> and every young person's like, I have nine roommates! <laughs> One of those a dog with rabies. We'd love to get him out, but his name is on the lease. <laughs> and every old person's like, I'm a librarian with a country home in the Cotswold. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> and then there's criticism of young people. They're like, young people live on their phones. It's the only place we can afford to live. <laughs> Enjoy certain television shows. Like, I was watching SpongeBob SquarePants with a younger cousin, two years younger. We love the classics. <laughs> and I'm getting angrier and angrier because I'm watching SpongeBob and I'm thinking, this sponge owns his own pineapple? <laughs> this sponge owns a two story pineapple? Oh, he must be a banker. He's not a banker. He works in a fast food restaurant. <laughs> and his neighbor works with him in the restaurant, lives in an Easter Island head. That's a listed building. There's no way he can afford that. 